Hi everybody. Uh, so I'm here in my office and I have been really going back and forth with making this video for a while now because this is completely out of my comfort zone. Um, but let's just see how it goes. So I just wanted to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Cheryl Hayes for all of you that don't know. Um, I am a mom of three boys and a wife. My husband, Rob, and I have been married for 15 years this July. Um, I am a special education paraprofessional at a middle school in the town that I live in. And I am a travel agent. So long story short, people have been saying like, why, why are you doing this now? Blah, blah, blah. So actually, back in 1990, after I graduated high school, um, I actually went to school for travel. Uh, it was travel and hospitality, it was called. Um, and I graduated in 1991 from Catherine Gibbs uh, in Providence, Rhode Island. And I had a certification in travel and hospitality. When we were there, we were trained in hospitality. Um, I was trained on the American Airlines computer system back then, which I'm sure is completely obsolete now. Um, however, we graduated in July of 1991 and actually a shout out to Katherine Gibbs because um, I met my best friend, Stacy, who um, married my brother and gave me my amazing nephew, Travis. So Katherine Gibbs, yay. Um, so we graduated and when we graduated, internet was really taking off at this point. So travel jobs, like travel agency jobs, super, super hard. If you had no experience, they were basically like, close the door, we're not talking to you. Um, they really didn't have any positions. So after months of trying, I ended up taking a job in an office. And then another job in an office, whatever. Life happened and now here we are 30 plus years later. So over the course of time, I've still traveled, gone on vacations, planned all of our own vacations. Um, in 50 years, I've used a travel agent once, and that was when my husband and I went to Hawaii for our honeymoon. And really, all they did was book our airfare and our hotel, and that was it. So, um, you know, we used them, but there wasn't like a lot of communication or anything like that. But I have to say, we did have a problem with our hotel while we were there. And um, I think his name was Mike. Um, he did take care of it for us and everything. So good thing we did use a travel agent or we would have been kind of stuck. So um, other than that, I've always booked my own trips and everything. And I've booked trips for my friends, family, helped them with like a lot of research and stuff like that. So last year, about almost, it'll be two years ago in May, I actually hurt my ankle at work and, um, didn't think it was a big deal. It ended up after months and months, we found out that there was some really torn ligaments and stuff. So last December, I had to have surgery and I had a complete ankle reconstruction. So I was out of work. I was housebound. I was bored out of my mind. And I started kind of like researching, you know, how to maybe get back into it a little bit. So long story short, I did. Um, I have my certification. I have my CLIA card. Um, I'm a Disney specialist, so I have to take and update classes and trainings with Disney in order to be able to call myself a Disney specialist. Um, you have to go through Disney trainings and stuff like that. And I've done that with a lot of other outlets that I work with. So I'm a member and like a part of a larger agency that's, you know, insured and stuff like that. Um, and then I'm an independent agent under under them. So I can book all of your Disney trips. I can book your Disneyland trips, which I have to say, if you've ever thought of it, even for a minute, just for a second, um, we've gone twice now and my husband and my, my youngest son still travels with us. A um, little bit harder to get the older ones. Um, my oldest is now married. He was married in November and I have a beautiful daughter-in-law. And my middle is 22. He doesn't love to travel. Um, and then we have a 12-year-old who still travels with us. 
So my husband and my my youngest actually loved Disneyland even more so than Disney World. We're Disney World people. We love Disney World. Um, but they're two, they're similar in so many ways, but they're two completely different entities. Um, the differences are insane. And Disneyland was just awesome. We had a blast there. Um, and we redid the trip um, just this past November and we absolutely loved it. And I have to say, love Disney World. I love all things Disney, um, but the food in Disneyland is exceptional compared to Disney World. So that's, um, I can book Disney Cruises. There's actually Disney um, Adventures by Disney where there's all, I mean, you can go on adventures from here to Alaska, um, Norway, all through Europe, um, there's Disney has river cruises that just they do pirate cruises that are smaller boats on rivers through. I mean, just the things that you can do with Disney are endless. Um, so that's just Disney. Um, one of my first big clients that I booked um, was actually a honeymoon, and that was to a private island with a, a villa overlooking the water. Uh, I've booked a couple of other honeymoons since then, um, doing some Nashville stuff right now. So I can book all over, uh, not just Disney. I call myself a Disney specialist because I have some of the tips and tricks. And I've been there so many times that I've stayed at um, a lot of the different hotels, the different resorts. There's over 25 resorts on Disney World property alone. Um, so we're working our way towards staying at all of them, but we've stayed at all the different levels and we've been to almost all of them, at least to see them. We've eaten at a good chunk of the restaurants, um, know the ones to kind of stay away from, uh, the tips and tricks in and out of the parks because things are just so fluid and changing constantly uh, at Disney. So uh, there's there's a lot of information and people that kind of go into it blind end up coming back and saying they hated it. I'd never go to Disney again. Um, but if you use somebody who is a little bit more knowledgeable, you know, it doesn't have to be me, but use somebody who knows Disney, your trip is going to be a thousand times better. I promise you. Um, just know that going into a Disney World vacation, it's not book the vacation, book the resort, get some park and go. It's a, things have changed in the past 10 years, in the past 20 years. Um, but in the past, even in the past three, things have changed again. Um, so things are just different all the time. And if people, you know, aren't up to date on it and they, they kind of don't have a game plan going in, it's a bit overwhelming. So um, that's just a little bit about me and my, um, my journey and what I'm trying to accomplish now. I mean... You know, who knows where this will take any of us, but the dream I think would be to be able to do this full time and be able to help people making those awesome memories and having a lot of fun uh, along the way in the next five years so I could quit my day job. Um, but that's a whole other, a whole other thing. So, um, you know, I'm going to try posting some of these little shorter videos uh, on YouTube and if people are interested, they can find them. Also know that um, I do have a YouTube channel that has um, race videos that I post um, from Seekonk Speedway in Massachusetts. And I will continue to post those videos with whoever is driving. So currently, um, my brother drives, my son drives, my best friend drives, um, my nephew-in-law I guess my favorite drives um so there's a lot of different people in our family who who drive at Seekonk Speedway and other racetracks and if I'm there for their races I'll post those videos for them as well so make sure that you go over to my YouTube channel it's Cheryl Hayes S-H-E-R-I-L-H-A-Y-S Hayes um on YouTube like my channel, subscribe for all future videos, uh, like this video, and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks.